Hi family, don't go. Please don't go, stay. I know I look crazy, I know it's very strange, I'm, my makeup is not finished, but I kind of played with a palette or creating a makeup look and I realized that I forgot to do this video and I thought that I would stop filming this makeup look and kind of try, try these products. I'm going to just try this, where is it? This miracle sponge that I call, <laughs> this Juna & Co microfiber velvet sponge. And I'm not going only to try this, I'm going to compare it with Revolt microfiber makeup sponge that I think kind of is a dupe. I'm going to put price information down below. So this is how much this costs, I can't remember it now, but I'm going to check it out when I uh, kind of make this video. And this is how much this sponge costs. Actually, with this sponge, you get two sponges. Or when you order this, when I ordered this one, I got two. And they are the same texture, but different, not size, but different. I don't like this sponge. I tried it a couple of times and I really, really didn't like it. And I was kind of disappointed because I got the second one that I didn't use. But then I watched a couple of videos and then I... Re People are using this sponge and they are loving it. And I know or remember that I saw, I think it was Mickey Tutorials using this for the first time. And I did order it because I wanted to compare these two if they're the same material or texture or if they felt the same. I hated this sponge. I hope I won't hate this one. Now, this took over a month to arrive to me. Over a month. I think even it was two months. And then I had to pay taxes. So it kind of uh, costed more than it actually did, does to get to Sweden. But it says, if you're looking for a na more natural airbrush foundation finish, the Juno Microfiber Velvet Sponge is your to go. Made with velvet soft microfiber bri bristles and uh, slanged edge for control stripling. The Juno Microfiber Velvet Sponge provides buildable coverage fast. Latex free, it's cruelty free. Now let me just read what this says for this sponge. So it says here, also the same thing is going to give you full coverage, very easy application. It, it's kind of not going to soak up your products. Um, it's going to work fine. I hated it. I hated it. I hate it. It doesn't work good. So this is how this one looks when it's wet. I'm going to wet this one and I'm actually going to apply foundation. I'm going to use this sponge on the half of my face and this sponge on the other half of my face and I'll see how they work and which one is better. And if you're interested to see that, then please keep on watching. So they are almost the same size and almost look identical and they feel kind of the same though this one is a little bit firmer than the Revolt so Juno Juno and Co I will just say Juno I don't know I will call it Juno and this is Revolt Revolt is a little bit softer but actually the this one feels more dense or the fibers are more together than on this one this was a little bit I tried to clean it, but it didn't really went away. So we'll see. It doesn't feel like it's the same material, though. It's microfiber, but this one is more tight, the fibers, than this one. The, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to use my All Hour foundation from uh, YSL. It's a foundation that I really love. It's full coverage, but also I know how it works. I love using it with the sponge. And I'm going to apply this Golan primer. I haven't used this a while and my face is a little bit drier right now because I've been sick the whole weekend. Oh, it smells nice. I was very disappointed when I tried the Revlon sponge and it didn't work. I'm just shaking my foundation. I love these lashes. This is Pract Lashes in Allure that I have. They feel so light on the eyes. And the palette that I use for my makeup look, it's this palette that I'm reviewing and creating a couple of makeup looks easy makeup looks 
that is or I think already on my channel so I'm going to squeeze a little bit of this foundation this is a little bit thick foundation and then I'm going to apply it on this side first with my finger so I did apply two pumps of the foundation I kind of use more than that but we'll see and let's take this Revlon sponge and I'm going to use this side, not the flat size. I'm going to try this size. And uh, let's buff this foundation in. It feels... I don't know. This already feels dry, this sponge. And actually it looks smooth it kind of it feels a little bit better than um, when I used it with makeup revolution foundation because that one kind of dries very fast so very I didn't really like it with very liquidy foundation but this foundation it kind of works very good not bad but not my favorite let's go in with Juno brush brush sponge and apply foundation on this side I just wash my hair so it's very very fluffy and everywhere and let's go not the flat side with this side also feels already dry Okay, let's try concealer. I'm going to use this Jouvet. Jouvet, I can't pronounce that. Let's use that concealer on my eye. I'm going to flip this flat size. Okay, it's blending concealer nice. This is the um, Juno. And really it looks very nice and flawless let's try revolt I mean they are both doing the same thing exactly the same thing so I can't see any difference between these two I'm going to set everything before everything starts to move my under eyes I'm actually going away to finish my makeup look and I'll be back to give you my full thoughts about these sponges 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 one sponge two sponges sounds strange but I think I pronounced that right so my final thoughts about the Juno and Co sponge or Revolt sponge exactly the same I mean they feel just a little bit different look maybe a little bit different but actually applying the makeup the same way uh, I do prefer using it with kind of thicker foundation that doesn't dry very fast when I tried it with very liquid foundations like my favorite in this L'Oreal Infallible it kind of looked patchy and uneven so the thicker foundation is the better is for these sponges are they my favorite no i do still really really like the beauty blender that's like my number one sponge do i recommend this um maybe if you like thicker foundations try it uh, i mean i don't think it kind of i don't think it makes me use less of the product because when I use these liquidy foundations, very liquidy, I kind of find myself that I've been using more foundation than usual because it was so patchy and I was really trying to figure out how to blend everything. So I'll be playing with this Revolt a, a long, not long, but maybe a couple of times 
and I really didn't like it. I don't gra reach for it. I, it kind of is over there. I do have one more that I didn't touch. I'm actually going to put it in my giveaway in the future because just because I don't like it, maybe you will like it. I would like you to try it yourself. So if you if you're not subscribed to my channel, do. But do I recommend this? Yes. Stop. It's my Instagram. If, do I recommend this? Yes, if you like thicker foundations. The liquid foundations, I don't, two liquid foundations, I feel like, I don't know, I just don't like. I can't really say which one I like more, if I like Juno and Como than this one. Well, actually, I got this really fast, shipping was very fast, it took me two months to arrive and I had to play, pay taxes and shipping costs more than this one because this is outside. Sweden, so it cost a little bit, a little bit more, but I don't understand the hype. Actually, I don't. Are they that amazing? No. So me, mm, I don't know if I'm going to reach for these, maybe because I don't have my beauty blender. I didn't buy any beauty blender. Actually, I do have a sponge that I hate and I really don't like using. I'm going to talk about that in another video, but right now, I'm not really happy, so I'm kind of disappointed. But they actually, doesn't matter which one you buy, they will do the same job. If you want to try it and don't know which one to choose, choose one that's cheaper and choose one that will come to you a little bit faster because they're do doing exactly the same job. So that's my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do then like this video. If you try these sponges, like this video. If you want to try these sponges, like this video. If you like this video, like this video. If you hated this video, just like it. Just like it. Thank you so much. And I love you all. Bye.